hell did you get that gear from? Only at RustyPot.com Hey everyone, before we start the video, I'd just like to thank Rusty Pot for sponsoring today's video. They're doing a massive giveaway at the moment, $2,000 worth of Rust skins. So if you're interested in entering this giveaway, check out the link in the description. There's going to be 50 winners. So if you guys want to win some new Rust skins for free, go and check them out in the description down below. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's jump into this episode. This is going to be episode 3 of the solo series. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Let's do this. This guy's building a new base and I think he's a noob. Peekaboo! Oh, I'm a dick. One of you guys commented that recently. You were like, Jordan, you've got better at the game. All right, you've got better at playing Rust, but you've turned into a dick. That's sort of the same thing. You know, once you get better at the game, you do become more of a dick. Actually, becoming more of a dick, it makes you better at the game. But he'll respawn. There we go. See? Oh, dearie me. Just what I need. Remember, I'm trying not to talk this white boys. Wood farmer. For the win. All right, guys, welcome back to the series. Um, welcome back to my base. As you can see, I got loads of garage doors, and they're all different skinned because in the last video, I found a decayed base that had all these garage doors, and I've still got some of them left. Look inside there. I've got all these garage doors. I don't know what to do with them. I found them inside a decayed base, and I also found 37 high external stone walls absolutely mental. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I'm going to obviously build something with them, but that's a lot of high external stone walls. That's a lot of stone right there. And, and I found it all from a decayed base. Like, insane. But anyway, we've just got all the wood we need for today's video. Um, by the way, if any of you are wondering, there's a little error on the bottom left hand side of the screen. It happens every now and then. It happens whenever you try and loot something and you've got full inventory. It comes up with an error that says, give item failed. And you can see it right there in the bottom left. I get comments about that sometimes. People think it's like some kind of cheat or something. But no, basically, if you've got a full inventory and you try and loot something, it'll give you that error in chat. And if you guys try it, it'll do the same for you guys. So it's not some kind of hack or cheat or whatever. It's literally just like it appears if you try and loot something with full inventory. So there you go. Anyway, come inside my base. Through all the endless doors. Um, I made a little sign. Jordan Rance with the YouTuber. Little logo there. Okay, so let me fill up my furnaces, guys. And while I'm doing this, I'm just going to talk you guys through my plans for this episode. I'm going to aim towards doing a satchel charge raid. And um, that is definitely a thing. Because I've got some sulfur in the base already. So I'll be able to do one of those. And we've got a level 2 workbench. So... We can craft some guns and whatnot very soon. First thing I'm going to do to start off the video, though, guys, I'm going to go to the lighthouse and recycle all of these electrical fuses that I've got. I got them all from the decayed base yesterday that I found, so I'm just going to take them all to the lighthouse now, get a ton of scrap from them, and then we'll come back here. And by that time, all the furnaces should be done and stuff, so diving gear is going on. There's a light on inside there, boys. Should I try and kill them? Uh, I've got too much loot to be taking risks like that. Let's just go inside. Looked like they were both naked anyway. I always fail trying to jump. There we go. Two people just left, so shouldn't be anyone else in here. Pro oh, wait. Uh, that's just the sunset light. Oh, there's a bunch of people over there on the island. Okay, this island right here is called the Role Player Island. My friend Sinks lives on here. There's a hotel over there. There's a church there. We're gonna go and check this out. Probably not now though, because there's, I've heard that a lot of people kill on site at the hotel, so I'd rather not die, but I might check that out later on. There's a few people there right now. I'm trying not to talk this whole series, so it's gonna be pretty. I would like to go over there and say hello. Okay, let's do this. Recycle all this. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna keep a close eye on freaking hotel. Boys, I might have to, I might have to just be like, you know what? I might have to just freaking screw the no talking rule and go over and say hi to these guys. Look at them all. I just want to go over there and say what's up. Ah, uh, okay, wait. Uh, keep recycling there. Recycle all of those. All right, there we go. Should I go over and say hi or should I? Ah, I might do it. I might do it. Okay, there they are. Hello. Yo, what's going on, man? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> what's going on here? Why are these guys dead? Uh, 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 nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Bye bye. <laughs> wait, take it. Take this. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna die anyway. Take this loot. Oh, thanks, man. Okay, kill me, kill me. All right, peace out. I'm dying. Okay, let's get back to base. Home sweet home. Trip number one complete. Get me flippers off. Some guy in a boat. Quick, grab the fins. He's over there, I think. 
Here's his boat. Here's his boat. Hello. I have just basically spent so much time upgrading this base, guys, but it's done. The base is upgraded, and uh, yeah, now I'm upgrading my base a lot. I'm going to show you guys firstly what upgrades I've done. I added the ladder hatches here so I can get access to my roof now. Um, I also put some of the high external stone walls outside my base just to like further protect it, as you can see. Not the best placement in the world, but it does the job. Looking pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do now, though, guys, is I'm going to go to the outpost. I'm going to buy an oil refinery. I'm going to turn all of my crude oil into low-grade fuel once I've got the oil refinery. And then I'm going to go flame raid all the wooden bases in the area. So, let's go to the outpost firstly with all of our scrap. Look at my base, guys. Actually looks like a pro... Actually looks like a pretty decent base. Hello, outpost. Oil refinery buying it right now. I'm gonna recycle a bunch of stuff while I'm here. Why not? 1,300 cloth. Not bad. Let's go. All right, we made it back. I'm gonna place to put this oil refinery. I'm just gonna place it right there. I'm gonna put all my oil in it in just a moment. So much crude oil. We're gonna get a lot of low grade out of this. So we'll be able to do a ton of flame raiding. It's gonna be pretty freaking cool. Okay, let's put all of our oil in there. While that's doing its thing, um, I'll craft a flamethrower and also hazmat suit uh, and like and weapons and everything like that. Oh my god, there's a guy on a boat. There's a guy on a boat. Two guys on a boat. They're gonna steal my oil. Motherfuckers. Somebody stole my oil, boys. Damn it! I'm gonna have to try and kill these guys or do something. Hit him once. Hit him again. They stole my oil! Ah! Sorry, I got loads more, but I would have killed that guy. Like, we need to craft a gun. I wonder where those guys live that stole my oil. That's a very good question. I think they live on the island. I think I have an idea of where they live, to be fair. Okay, I'm just going to go out and look for bases to raid then, guys. We do want to do a satchel raid, but I also want to do some flame raids as well. So, yeah, let's just go have a look around the area, see what sort of bases we can raid today. Check out this base. It's got a double sheet metal door on it, but it's made out of freaking wood. Okay, I need a flame for it quickly. I don't have enough high qual. I need, I need to find a metal node somewhere or a few metal nodes. Freaking owned me. in a row. Give me that large furnace, mate. Woo! Still need that metal. 
But I've just killed quite a few players, so I kind of want to get back to base. I'm pretty sure Tech Trash gives Tyquel, right? Screw it. I'm going to quickly use the Recycler then. Really quickly use the Recycler because I don't want to die here. Okay, good. Let's get back to base. Crafting bandages now. Right, I just got free high qual from that. And that's enough, actually. I'll just craft a... Uh, I'll just craft a the flamethrower and the um, and a rifle. I'm definitely going to start with this base because it's got a double sheet metal door on it and we can flame raid it. So I'm going to start off with a flame raid on this guy because he's living right next to the harbor. So he might have some decent components. Okay, home sweet home. My rifle's crafted, guys. And I've got my flamethrower right here. So yeah, let's go out and do some flame raiding. All right, so the first base I'm going to raid is over here with the double sheet metal door. That's promising. It's next to the harbor and the lighthouse. So it might have some decent components and scrap inside. Oh, that's what's left over of the decayed base from the last video. <laughs> One foundation. Okay, I don't have the best armor as you can see guys because I don't have any road signs and I don't have enough high quality to craft uh, hazmat suits. But I'm going to be patient and uh, don't rush things. Right, well, this space we're going to raid so let's jump on top see if we can see inside. See inside. So his main loot room is probably going to be through here but I reckon there might be more loot or some loot through, the, through here as well so we're going to start off by going through this wall. I'm just making sure there's a rip the roof camper living in that metal base over there So I've got to be wary of that Let's see what's through this first door then anyway. Oh, yes sheet metal door right there That's his main loot room. So through that sheet metal door anything in the furnace. No, there isn't all right I'm gonna break through this wall just to check if there's anything behind here Have a quick look Oh my god players online He's online. Flame turret there. Couple of furnaces. Is it this active, this flame turret? Yes, it is. I just almost died from the flame turret. I am legit an idiot. No, I died, boys. What the hell? I can't believe that. Quick craft meds and go back there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I can't believe it. I died from the guy's flame turret. It's not even that I'm bad at the game. I play, I play on Rustified EU main as a solo player. You've got to be somewhat decent to do that. It's just that I make shitty, shitty mistakes sometimes. And that is an example of it right there. Let's see if he has uh, spawned back in. Nope, my body's still there. Okay, that's good. I've just got to get it back somehow. I'm here, I'm here. Yes! Got all my loot. Thank the lords. Thank the lords! Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ! Okay, whoa! I think his flame torch ran out. That's good. What do we do now then? Um, we could, uh, well, his sleeping bag's probably in his main loot room. Hmm. Do I craft four satchels and just get through his main door just to see what he's got? I see we go for it. Uh, four satchels. Let's go back to base and craft four satchels. I've got enough gunpowder already, so it's all good. Got 400 gunpowder there. Perfect. 10 bean cans, and we've already got six already. I hope I don't screw up again in some <laughs> some way. Okay, let's do this, guys. Has he come back online? Nope, he hasn't. But whatever, I'm not complaining. Let's go. Four satchels. One of them failed. One of them went off. Two of them went off. Three of them went off. One more, and we're in. Woo! Come on. Blow up. There we go. We're in. We got loot, and we got TC. TC's locked, though. What sort of loot have we got? Oh, the bloody chest is locked as well. Okay. Someone is getting raided just typed in chat. Somebody just typed in chat. Someone is getting raided. Oh, my God. Way to blow my cover, bro. I'm going to get through the TC. Ah! Scared the shit out of me. Same guys before. We gotta get through the TC quickly. Rolling through the TC. I'm getting ready to uh Woo! 
We're in. We're safe. Oh, my God. PT underscore D Gamer. You scared the crap out of me. All right, let's see what's in the TC. Oh, that is a lot of loot. 860 gunpowder. Freaking 280 sulfur. 337 scrap. 551 cloth. Loads of other loot as well. 860 sulfur. Uh, gunpowder. Freaking hell yeah, man. Okay, let's have a look what's in this chest anyway. Here we go. Double barrel, extra hazmat suit, rifle body. Rifle body is the, the main thing that's good there. Uh, research table, which actually I need. I need to research some stuff still. But yeah, that, this is a decent raid, guys. Both flame raids today have been really good. Right, that's all the loot then, guys. Um, oh, one last thing, which I forgot. We can basically take this right here. There we go. It had 50 low, it had 50 low grade left inside. Let's take it. Extra flame turret. There we go. Wait, 67 high qual? Where the hell did I get that from? Was that from the TC and I didn't realize? 67 high qual. That's mental. Really good for a flame raid. Well, it's kind of a satchel raid as well, but yeah. I'm going back to base. Woo! Decent raid right there, guys. Really, really, really decent raid. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Um, I'll have another video out for you guys on Sunday. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. By the way, definitely make sure to check out the Rusty Pot giveaway. Link is in the description. Once again, $2,000 worth of Rust skins down there. So if you do want some free Rust skins, check them out um, below. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. We're making a lot of progress at the moment on this solo series. We've already got high external stone walls around the base, which is awesome. So in the next video, we're just going to expand on that and do more raids hopefully hopefully more profitable raids as well so yeah thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in sunday's video hope you have an amazing weekend everybody peace